going to try and show you is how you might set up a shared library inside Office 365 for you to deposit documents or support materials for your teaching, for your lessons. Uh, what you've got on the screen now is the typical front end to Office 365. Maybe you come into Outlook more often than not and you have this kind of view. Uh, if you do, then you should know you can always get back to all the various apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint and so on by going up to the top left hand corner here and clicking on the App Launcher. Now what I want to do today is take you into OneDrive and suggest that one way that you might be able to support your students and your lessons is to create a shared library. Okay. Now at the moment I've got a shared library for my four teaching groups, my four main teaching groups. And I'm going to try and set one up so that you can see how you might do it yourself. So the first thing we have to do is go down to the bottom of this list here and we find the option to create a shared library. So if you click on shared library, on the right hand side of my screen now, I can see uh, that it wants me to type in a site name. So I put in a, a meaningful name at this point. Let's say it's year nine, maths, set, uh, one. It then checks to see if the group email address is available for that site. Now normally you would just accept whatever it comes up with, okay? But you can click on the edit button here and change that name if you're not happy with it. Then you go down to the site description and you put in what this repository is for. And again, keeping it very simple, this is uh, a site used for to support year nine maths set one. And then you set the privacy settings. These can be public or private. I tend to go public, but you can leave it as private. And then you click on next. Now at this point you put in any additional owners of the site. Um, I normally put my address in there just to be on the safe side to make sure I am the owner of the site. And then uh, I put down here the members of the class I want to use this with. So year 9 set 1, the names are already in there because this is 365 and the email addresses are the school email addresses. So if I put in for example Rafferty Hall his name will pop up. I can add them. And let's say then I put in Nick Clark, Nicholas Clark. There he is. And I'll keep adding the names till they're all in. Once they're in, I click on Finish. And my site, uh, my SharePoint site, and my shared library is now created. Now, there's a lot on that page initially, but the thing you want to go for really is the documents on here. Click on Documents. And now you've got an area where you can set up folders and include documents in those folders for sharing with all the members of the group that you've just created it for. So I could, for example, click on New, set up a new folder and give it a name. Let's say I want to talk about inequalities. I could put that in there and then I can open that up and I can drag and drop files into that. Let me show you what I mean then. I want to go to a folder where I've got some documents. So I'm going to go to one of my uh, drives here. I've got a file in here that I want to share with the class. I'll drag and drop it onto here. And in real time, very quickly, that file will be uploaded. And there it is available. I can actually take more than one file at a time. I could take all three and drag these across. And it will load all three items up. It takes a little bit longer, but there you go. All the files are in there. Well, having set the documents up, I can now do a little bit more than that because I can go to the left-hand panel and I can click on the option to have a conversation. And I'll go in then to the Outlook system. So it could be I'm, I'm in Outlook right now. And I can start sending an email out. So I can click on Send Email and it'll pick up all the members of the group automatically. I put my subject in, whatever the email content is, and send it. And it takes care of all that work for me of having to type in lots of different addresses. I can go back to my 
uh, files by clicking on the file tab here and see all the files that are in here and I can click on my calendar and go into Outlook's calendar now I normally see my own calendar on the left hand side but now I'll also see below the calendar for that particular group so I'll just switch my calendar off for a second and come so from here I can actually set up appointments uh, for this group from this calendar because it's their calendar and, and they will only they will see it now there is a lot more that we can do with this uh, lovely SharePoint system and, and Outlook and the idea of shared libraries but I'm going to stop now because you've probably taken enough information in and we'll put out some separate uh, short videos to explain what other things you can do in there I think the main thing is that you should be able to get back to your OneDrive and find your shared libraries coming up now find your shared libraries go into that shared library and be able to add documents to it and once those documents go in there all the members of the group have access to those documents so I hope that'll help you with your online teaching more to come I think